Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the unit step response of the first order system. So, last session we will discuss about the impulse response of the first order system. So, same procedure we have to follow here. First, first, what is the first order system? The first order system which consisting of the transfer function that is 1 plus S tau. And we need to apply to this. We have to give the unit step. Unit step is U of T is the unit step and we have to analyze for the output so output get right into the r of t we have to find out for r of t so it is in s domain same procedure but both are in the time domain so that's why we should convert this into the complete s domain so by applying laplace transform u of t will become 1 by s and is applied to first order system the first order system is 1 plus s into tau so this is the first order system and we need to find out for the output r of s yes so to find out the r of s directly we can write what is r of s here the output r of s equal to i can write like this that is 1 by 1 plus s into tau into 1 by s yes 1 by s so to so this is the signal we are getting the r of s but by looking at the signal we didn't get the clear signal so in order to divide this uh, we should divide some partial fractions then we will understand very easily so for that purpose just common the tau from here just common the tau from here so this is 1 by s and if you common the tau here we will get 1 by tau plus s 1 by tau plus s to understand clearly just apply the partial fractions here so before that just arrange c of c properly that is 1 by tau is outside and the remaining part is 1 by s into 1 by s plus 1 by tau now we need to divide into partial fractions divide into partial fractions then it is possible to convert into the time domain analysis otherwise it is not put it is not possible so apply the partial fractions for this what you will get so just take this 1 by s take s terms s into s plus 1 by tau so we can write a by s plus b by s plus 1 by tau s plus 1 by tau okay so I will explain clearly here from the next we will directly we will write directly okay a into s plus 1 by tau doing the LCM here LCM here s into s plus 1 by tau plus b into s right both will be cancelled the remaining is 1 equal to a into s plus 1 by tau plus b into s okay first you should take if s value equal to 0 what happened 1 equal to a into 1 by tau plus b into 0 then a value will become here tau a value will become here tau so we will get one partial fractions next if s equal to minus 1 by tau so whenever applying a minus 1 by 2 a becomes 0 then 1 a into 0 plus b into minus 1 by tau okay then b become minus tau so from this b become minus tau so finally write we can sub we can write like this so we can write 
replace with a and b so we will get c of s equals 1 by tau so what is a there a is tau by s b is minus tau by s plus 1 by tau right so by applying the laplace transform by applying the inverse laplace transform we will get like this so before that i can write like this so look at here this tau both taus will be cancel finally we will get c of s equal to c of s equal to 1 by s minus 1 by s plus 1 by tau now here apply inverse laplace transform apply inverse laplace transform what you will get here c of s become c of t 1 by s become 1 and this become e power minus t by t into 1 by tau or t by tau directly you can write 1 by tau okay so it is multiplied with the signal only otherwise it is not possible that's why we can take c of t 1 we i can write u of t and e power minus t by tau into u of t right so if you observe here this is the complete response this is the complete response whenever we are applying the unit whenever we are applying the unit step to the system first order system the output will be like this so here if you observe here this one is the this one is called as the observing the one you will get this is the steady state response yes and e power term where is the e power term is there that is the transient response transient response okay so it consisting of the two response steady state as well as transient response so whenever the we have the steady state response automatically it consisting of the steady state error so it has steady state error so now we need to find out the steady state error so generally same formula in the previous case what is the error error is nothing but input minus output r of t is the reference input c of t is the control output but to get the directly we will get first what is r of t r of t is directly u of t is nothing but one and what is c of t finally we are getting c of t value is like this substitute here 1 minus e power t by tau and we will get e power minus t by tau so finally we will get error value is e power minus t by tau okay what is our requirement our requirement is study state error we need to find out the study state error or study state response we can get it okay this is error we need to find out the study state error yes so to find out the study state error what we need to do we have to apply the limit t tends to infinite to this error okay so limit t tends to infinite what is error value what is error so directly you can apply e power minus t by tau e power minus t by tau <coughs> generally steady state error is here generally you will get uh, apply here just e power minus t by tau right so by applying this what you will get applying infinite e power minus infinite zero so finally you will get the steady state error is zero steady state error is zero right okay it consists of steady state error but it consisting of the zero value whenever it reaches the steady state that error will be zero right and now we will find out steady state response also how we can find out the steady state response wherever you have the steady state 
so now we will find out the equation for the steady state response this is the response that is the error okay here the steady state response equal limit steady state mean t tends to infinity and we have to apply for the response then limit t tends to infinite what is c of t write this value 1 minus e power t by tau right e power minus t by tau now we will apply this limit value so this is the constant whenever you are applying the t equal infinity here 0 1 so that means the steady state response is the 1 understand steady state response is the 1 what is the transient response directly we directly we will get steady state response and transient response but by doing the equations we will get also same thing we will get the same thing right so by using that we can draw the steady state response how we can draw the studies we can draw the complete response how we can draw the complete response so complete response is nothing but the c of t and how we will get here this is the output value take one so so the output is like this this is the transient response and this is the steady state response what is the steady state response steady state response is the value of one what is the transient response e power minus t by tau what is e power minus t by tau e power minus t by tau is look like this okay e power minus t by tau is look like this what is this point this point is t equal t equal infinite okay and we already find out steady state error is zero and the error value is like this how we have the error value so we can take the error value also error response if you take this is the maximum value and this is the minimum value the error value is like this the error value is the like this t equal to infinite 0 and t 0 and t okay so this is the procedure this is the analyzing whenever we are giving some unit step input then the output is waveform is like this and error for that waveform is like this okay so this i this is about the unit step response of the first order system i hope all of you understand this session thank you